Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter! Bam, 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 Review stuff! How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I've got a lot of things at my feet right here. Hocus pocus, hocus pocus. Today I'm gonna make potions because I'm a potion maker is what I do. But anyway, before I do that, I wanna say thank you to everybody that keeps on giving me recommendations for when I go to Trader Joe's. If you have recommendations, please put them in the comment section below. Before I was on the YouTubes, one of the things that I always loved was when YouTubers would say, please subscribe to my channel listed below and give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Or they would say, and comment in the comment section below. Like, it was just like this magical comment section below that existed. I love that so much. And so now, every once in a while, I say it. I don't say it very often, but when I do say it, I say it then in like all of my videos for that day. So please put a com in the comment section below your favorite thing from Trader Joe's so that I know what to try. I will tell you what I feel about Trader Joe's, okay? If you haven't seen on my Peter Does Stuff channel, I have done several, uh, what do you call it, haul videos from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. I think they are reasonably priced. Um, their Whole Foods is extraordinarily expensive, okay? I don't even go to Whole Foods anymore because half the stuff that I used to get there that I thought was so good, I can find at like Costco or Meyer or Trader Joe's for half the price. And I'm like, this is like, they call it whole, they don't call it whole check for nothing. Okay, let's just put it that way. But anyway, I got so many recommendations when I did that video of things that I should try at Trader Joe's. The problem with Trader Joe's is that when they run out of something, unless it's like one of their mainstay items, they don't get it back for a while, right? So like, um, so Alex is my husband's best friend, Sarah. She took me to Trader Joe's today because she was buying some flowers and then she wanted to look for this candy that she likes, this gummy candy. Well, it's like, so it, cause it's like real low in sugar. And she said that they hadn't had it there in months. Well, they had it today and they had like all this kind of stuff and she bought like many, 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 many packages of it. So anyway, I wanna tell you about something that was recommended to me, which were these coffee creamers. But before I do, right when I walked in today, they have these sparkling uh, juice beverages, which I was like, this is kind of fun because I like to try new things in the summertime or anytime, really. And as a person that's an alcoholic in recovery, you know, it's hard. It's like Diet Coke or Red Bull or, you know, water, sparkling water. And I'm not, like, I'm kind of at the point where I do about one Diet Coke, if that, a day. And then I'm kind of over it. Um, I don't love Fountain Pops as much as I, ooh, as much as I used to. And so I'm really drinking a lot of sparkling water right now. Whatever brand um, is, you know, Pel San Pellegrino, the Bubbly, uh, whatever, I'll try anything. The Target brand, I really like that one when I tried it. Um, so anyway, I walked in and they had these cute little boxes and they were boxes of like four and they were just like this big and they were right when I walked in. The only problem I will tell you is that because they have like fruit pieces in them, they are 60 calories. I'm like, I hope to God I didn't buy this and there's alcohol in there, but there's no alcohol in here. Ingredients, pineapple juice, water, carbon dioxide, citrus, and okay, okay. Um, yeah, so there's not. So the first one that I got is a sparkling pineapple juice beverage. And the second one I got is a sparkling watermelon juice beverage. I haven't tried either one of these. Do y'all want me? I just feel like there's only four in a box and I don't want to open them. I want to open them on my front porch while I'm watching my TV shows tonight. Uh, but I will report back and let you guys know what I think, okay? Or if I like them, I'll buy more boxes and then I'll do the reviews. Then. But I got so many recommendations for people for me to try some coffee creamer. And I can't remember the one coffee creamer that somebody asked me to get from Trader Joe's, but I know it wasn't there when I looked because... It was something like I had just got the pistachio that I tried and I did a whole video over here. This was something that was very unique like that, but um, they didn't have it at Trader Joe's when I looked because I went and I looked at all of the coffee creamers and the creamers and things like that and the heavily whipped cream. And it's a very small section. And they only had like these two that I purchased, which are Trader Joe's brand. And that is the non-dairy oat, uh, oat creamer, brown sugar which I love brown sugar or anything. So I'm really excited about this. It's 25 calories, one gram of fat, total carbs, four grams, and um, yeah, includes four grams of added sugar. So that's the brown sugar one. And then the other one, which I thought would be really fun for summer because I've been trying these that are kind of heavy and I don't know, but I got coconut creamer. 
dairy free and lactose free and it's five calories which is really not bad at all total fat zero total carbs uh less than one gram and less than one gram of added sugars and proteins are zero so we're gonna do a little mixology here today i have right here two coffees and a spoon and i'm gonna mix it up okay let's get a thumbnail first of all Okay, so I'm going to be a mixologist. You ready? I don't want to spill the milk everywhere. You know I'm killing for always like smelling, spilling stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this coffee and I'm just going to mix, oh, just a little bit. Oh, that was a lot of a mix. That was a lot more than I wanted in there, but don't you love that sound? When I was a little kid and I would play in the kitchen and I would do this with color, coloring, you know, what's it called? Uh, what's that called? Why can't I think of it when you put it in water? Food coloring, food coloring. You don't put it in water, you put it in everything. But I put it in bathtubs and everything. But I love food coloring. My mom, she would swear that you could buy some of that food coloring that came like four colors on a pack and it would last you like a whole year as far as like, you know, because you guys need like a little drop and then the bathtub's blue and it's like you're swimming in the ocean and stuff like that. My mom, she could like, I swear to God, she could invent every kind of game in the world. She would take ice cream or ice cubes. She would make her own ice cubes and put food coloring in each one and things like that. Probably I know somebody's going to come and say it's real dangerous and you can get all kinds of diseases from it. But when I was a kid, my mom kept me so entertained playing with just regular water that was colored from food coloring. Do you guys remember that back in the day? My mother, she like could come up with all kinds of games. So anyway, but I used to love to just play in the kitchen. I wanted to act like I cooked. Little did I know that later I would hate to cook and that instead I would just like to have either food delivered, okay, or sit at a restaurant where somebody would bring the food to my table and my husband and I could have a conversation. Those are some of my favorite things. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that's really good. It's not like real heavy on the brown sugar, but it's just enough. I don't know why I'm like going through this this year though, but it's like anything that's kind of like cinnamon, chai, brown sugar. Although this is so funny because I just today at Starbucks, because Sarah took me through Starbucks, um, did I say that? That we were running errands and stuff today? Yeah, I did. Um, we, so she took me through Starbucks and I got a venti brown sugar, sugar shake and espresso because I have fallen in love with that at Starbucks. It, so it's interesting to me that I say this, but it tastes very fallish to me. Like this just reminds me of fall. I think it's because it's so hot right now in Indianapolis. So I don't know. But do I like it? Sure. Do I love it? No. 3.5 out of a... 3.5 out of 5. That's all you get. Stop complaining, okay? You did not win the pageant. You were not prepared. Your hair was horrible and your talent sucked. You got a 3 out of 5. So come back next year and come back more prepared. Okay. Now, that's what happens when you don't win the pageant of the creamer. Okay? Listen, don't even start with me about cream pageants. Okay? Don't. Cream. But anyway, this is a family friendly channel if you didn't know. We're gonna try this one now. This is the co coconut creamer. <laughs> Not to be confused with the coconut creamer. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Why can't I open this thing? <laughs> Today I was talking to the doctor about working out, and he's like, um, <laughs> He said, or did I talk, say, he was, okay, I was talking to the doctor about working out because all of my doctors want me to like, you know, be like, I've lost so much weight that they're like, we want you to keep on losing weight, we want you to be exercising and all this kind of stuff. And I was talking about, <laughs> oh my God, I had bought these weights over here, right? But I haven't even put them together yet. And so my doctor was like, this is just my primary care physician. He was like, well, how's your upper body strength? It's pretty good. I can't open a thing of creamer, but it's improving. Okay. So, it doesn't really, it smells like nuts. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. Y'all are dirty minded and you need Jesus. All right, let's get into this. Okay. <laughs> and then did you ever blow bubbles in your milk? Like, I don't, why was I drinking milk with a straw? I don't know, but I used to. Um, and my dad would go, stop. 
my dad. It would drive my dad crazy when I would blow it bubbles with anything with a straw. Okay. It's just very plain. It's like if Coke and I mean, <laughs> girl, you didn't win the pageant either, but you're so I feel so bad even saying anything. You know what I mean? You did your best, okay? You tried. You came with a pretty dress, I guess. I don't know. It was your sister's hand me down, and you flat ironed your hair and you put in some blue eyeshadow. But girl, I'm sorry. This just isn't the pageant for you. I mean, it's just like if coconut milk or coconut water m m met coffee, kind of. You know, it's just like. Uh, Nice attempt, okay, you know, gold star, I guess, you know, is it gonna make you feel better? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how I felt. She she just missed the mark. She didn't get the assignment, okay? But cheers to you <laughs> anyway. Those probably won't be my favorite coffee creamers of the year. I think it's kind of a big fail. But hey, listen, they showed up, okay? And I'm such a believer, whether it's a, a pageant for cream or <laughs> if it's life or if it's a review channel suit up and show up. And I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.